Now downtown filled with superheroes and comic book characters for the third night of Comic-Con. 10 News reporter Matt Boone live at the convention center for what may be the busiest night of the whole week, Matt. Yeah, Vanessa, it's getting harder and harder to walk around, especially outside of the convention center. Saturday, a lot of big stuff going on today. Lots of fun things to check out. I got this hat over at the League of Steam booth, but there were some big panels today, too. Johnny Depp was here. He crashed the Fantastic Beasts panel. and There was an Aquaman panel as well. They released the new trailer for that. That's getting a lot of buzz out here today. But out on the general exhibition floor, there's just a lot of movement. I've been here now for three days, and there's still a lot I have not even seen or discovered yet. People out here trying to do just that. And while this is an event that draws an international audience, many of the big names from TV, movies, and entertainment are here. There are also some local artists who live and work year round in San Diego that they're able to make their mark here at the convention. That includes the creators behind the Curseborn saga. This is the third year they've had a booth in the small press area. It was founded by two brothers from San Diego and a few friends. They say they're hoping eventually to get picked up by a big publisher. I mean, I feel like we're so lucky. It's just in our backyard, you know. So like we've we've grown up always wanting to come in here, especially so as it started to get more packed, we couldn't really couldn't really afford to come in here. And now now just being able to have it here and to have a presence and and just say we're local is it's just it's it's really cool for us, you know. Pretty interesting and unique art that they've got going. They live and work here, like I said, year round, trying to get their comics off the ground. And this, of course, is the perfect place to get some notice. Reporting live at Comic Con, Matt Boone, 10 News. And I know you're having a good time out there, Matt. The hat looks good. We approve. <laughs> All right. And if you